Huh. Remember when equipment wasn't this heavy? That was probably corny, but what's up, YouTube? So, this is the first step me becoming a professional fabricator. This is the Wen 10 inch bandsaw. And this shit is heavy as hell. Uh, it also comes with a table and some legs. So I thought this was like a removable bench. So I was thinking about getting like another another Wen product with like a, I was thinking about getting a drill press and then switching out. But it looks like this is built into the base. So I was like, I might just use this table for the drill press. But this thing does have a base. I don't know how tall it will stand yet, but if anything, I'll put it back up on this table. And uh, yeah. So anyway, this is this machine is gonna help me cut lots of metal, like a lot more straighter, a lot more professional. Obviously, you can see it's missing the table. Gotta reassemble that. And uh, yeah, this thing can do up to a lot of things, man. Can cut metal, aluminum, and lots of stuff. So I'm gonna put this machine to work, real good work. But let's finish assembling it. All right, she's all put together now. You can see she's dirty. I already tested her out. She, she cuts pretty good. She also has her lights. I can hear work late nights. Perfect. I already tested it out, cutting this nice piece of steel. It's 316 piece of steel, look at that. Clean cuts. You guys will see what that piece of steel is for later. But uh, yeah, so let's bust out the uh, hydro design. Right, so for the hydro design, I wanted something that would like, look like, you know, kind of like angular and kind of like a little bit thicker than the normal uh, hydro handbrake that you normally see. And I wanted it to like angle. It's like a bunch of, you know, rhombuses and triangles and stuff, you know, to like give it like a height and I guess like a look. I forget the term that I'm looking for, but this is like the hydro I want. And then um, to do the same thing, to match with whatever's in the car, because you can see this matches with nothing in the car. We're going to be making, well, I want to make like a big wing with like uh, stand plates with like the same design. So those two would just tie in together. So this is like the first step, that's what you're seeing right now. But um, yeah, so these triangles and rhombuses here, you're, they're going to be cut out obviously. And it's just going to be a complete, you know, nice hand to hold. And if you want, you can put your fingers in between, I guess, I don't know. But um, yeah, so after I cut this out, we're going to put it into the car and see where I want to put the bolt holes for the pivoting point. And how high I want to put the part to uh, the rod for the hydro to push back. This is not going to be the traditional one. This is going to mount onto the floor because this hydro is going to mount to the floor because simply this, I have no space in this center console area and I don't want to cut up any of this and bracket it up. So we're going to be putting this on the floor right over here by the seat area on this little pillar right here and then bring the whole thing, the whole uh, rod assembly back. And let me show you the rod assembly. So for the rod assembly, we have this 7 16th, I guess you say like dowel with threads in it. One is right hand threads, one is left hand threads. And we have this, uh, what is this? Some kind of pillow block bearing. I forgot, I, I bought all this stuff a long time ago. But um, we got this swivel looking thing here. And this is going to bolt onto the hydro. And then we have this Wilwood Brake Master here. 
and we're going to basically thread this onto that. A long time ago, I made the mistake and bought this 7 16 when I should have bought it 5 16 just like this. I believe it was 5 16 But we're just going to use one of these crush, these crush rib nuts and insert it into here. So, that'll be so super simple. Alright, so let's get cutting. Make sure you get your safety goggles, because shards won't fly everywhere. Alright, who would have thought this was a wind commercial with all the wind products I got here? But, um, yeah, so this thing is looking pretty smooth ish. I, I think I would much rather go over it with like a, a grinder instead of trying to sand it down smooth with this. But, um, yeah, we're gonna see how it fits in the car. Alright, nice summer day, we got the roof off. Ugh. All right, so this essentially is going to fit right over here, this flat bottom. As you can see, it's going to angle forward a bit, and basically stay like stationary right there with the shifter, like so. It's like it's in line, and so it's like about the same height as the steering wheel. So I go from the steering wheel to the hydro to the shifter. Oops, well oh, you probably didn't see that, but from the steering wheel to the hydro to the shifter. So. This is a nice spot, so we're going to mark it. We're gonna unbolt these seats to make the job easier and drill holes to it and make brackets and make it stand up. So, all right, so to, intro to drill these holes, we're going to introduce another one product that I bought to get the job done properly because honestly, I want this to be perfect. So, let's introduce the next pro the next. Ugh heavy piece of equipment all right and here it is the wind drill press this this video is becoming like a very like really remember one video but um yeah I did my research and i like the way their their stuff operates and they get good reviews so i'm gonna use this to drill holes into the metal all right so back to what we was doing all right so here we're going to be now making a mount for the brake master. And you can see we have a well wood brake master here. So I started cutting it out out of wood, started marking it up, you know, with this handy machine. It's pretty amazing. Um, so my idea is I'm going to draw them out here on this thin sheet, I think it's probably like 316 or whatever. Uh sheet of metal. And um fold them once I fold them I'll make like a flat plate for the bottom and weld that weld everything together so this is the design in the side I think it's gonna be pretty cool yeah but uh yeah let's mark it up and cut it up all right just as easy as that we cut it out and I started to like line it up with this it's just taking a while to do it but you know I want to cut like a little slits in here so it makes it easier for when I hammer and bend these down. You know, it would have like a little crease to follow from. So I want to make these indents a bit more pronounced and um, bend it over.
All right, kind of jumped the gun a little bit here. So started to bust up the welder and put a little tax so it stays together. But uh, yeah, it's essentially how it's going to look. And we're just gonna transfer on this style onto it. So we're gonna make two cuts here and here. And we're gonna start to put in the holes. So it shouldn't be hard. Let's just bring out the drill press and I'll probably cut these down. Yeah, so it's all level. But after I drill the holes, then I'll figure out what I wanna do with this. So also got some parts from Speedway. I remember I said I was going to Jimmy rigged this whole thing because instead of uh, 5 16th, I bought 7 16th, but I just, you know, bit the bullet and just bought the right one. Might be able to use this somewhere down the line anyway. So, and this little piece. But, um, yeah, let's open up this box and see if everything fits. Alright, looking like this here. Oh, shit. Sheesh. 5 16th. Let's see if this screws in. This is a lot thinner than the other one. We got the nuts here. Nice little speedway book, I guess. I couldn't even tell you. Alright, we got the whole piece assembled here now. As you can see, this was the whole idea. So this is a right hand thread, left hand thread entry. So whenever I, if I need to make it longer, I could just twist it, you know, while everything is in place. And then it's thin and you know retract so that's pretty cool um it's not 100 percent perfect though because i happen to order left hand thread nuts not paying attention again but you know what it's all right it's all right we'll live so let's go ahead and put this piece together all right i'm back out here at night here and try and finish this up tonight so we can bolt this in the car tomorrow. It's already got my first hole drill. This drill press is actually putting in lots of work. And like I'm using like half the amount of energy. Uh, Yeah, I'm really liking this stuff, honestly. So, take, take my measurements. I'm going to drill in the big hole. Now, hopefully it's, you know, this one that I have. If anything, I'll just ream out the hole and make it bigger. But, um, yeah, let's see if it's in the right spot. Spot, measure it up, and it looks nice and even. And we're gonna drill out these holes, and I'll see you guys in the morning. Alright, so placing it in here off rip, like you know, doesn't look bad. It obviously has to go around this because the seat will be bolted in in here. So the height that I made this bracket at is pretty good. And the length of this rod is actually perfect. So if I need a little bit more I can, you know, lengthen the stress slack and open it up some more. But um yeah, this is actually actually nice pla placement for this one. Just try to get it so it's like nice and even and then that's where I'm going to bolt it in at you can see it's a little bit off the ground so I'm gonna have to address that by doing something but we'll see um yeah overall this is really good actually really really good I'll probably make it a little bit longer just so that if there's a little bit of slack I can just easily just tighten it up and loosen it up so I might just unscrew it out a couple threads vice versa on this side just to the left but um yeah so this will be cool let me get the e-brake so I'm so gonna see if I can size everything up okay so now with the e-brake in sheesh I'm like trying to place myself around this cage it will be probably on the same axis as this bracket right here and you see it's going to lean forward like this don't worry about the, the holes drilled in it. I'll address that later. Um, yeah, this is essentially where it's gonna mount. Yeah, well, it might need to mount a little bit farther. 
probably like this due to the well no actually no right up here and then this is going to stretch up a little bit and lounge right here the slack is what it, the slack is what i'm talking about with the uh how i want it to stand you know what i mean so this is like this is like the movement it will be placed in but once it's tight it's tight so i'll probably like i said unscrew this out a little bit so i have slack in it and then tighten it up to the placement where i want it to stand so yo because i'm for short people i guess if i let somebody drive off my car i can lean it back more this way you know versus somebody tall i can just lean it back more this way or just the styling honestly my preference is like right parallel with the shifter so but um that's basically my thought process on this let's uh execute this We got the whole thing installed now this is essentially how it's going to look and how it's going to work you know i just have to tighten up all the bolts so nothing's wobbling but yeah that's basically how it's gonna work all right so now we can start to finalize this whole thing i'm going to take these apart uh paint them up and uh, finish uh cutting up this because all i have is a bunch of bolt holes so Let's get to work. So let's get back. I started off here. I should have started off down here because down here looks a lot more neat. It's like once I got, you know, so I kept doing I kind of got the skill to do it better and better. So I'm just trying to straighten up up here, try and make it look as clean as down here. And all I did was use a grinder for cutting this. Um, so yeah, I'm basically gonna run it over with the jigsaw to make sure the lines come up to where I want them to be. And um, yeah, grind it down, sand it down with the Dremel. So, it should be real simple. Let's just clean this up and then clean it up.
See what was in the was in the inside of a can. So it's really just a bowl. Interesting. And there it goes. Officially finished. Let's get sit inside here and try not to mess up any of these wires here. And get us off our first pole. Look at this, man. This is just so nicely placed. Oh my gosh. And it springs back and forth perfectly. If I feel like it's too close to me, you could just spin this rod and it'll get farther. And then you'll know, spin it back, it'll get closer. I want it more like. I want it more even with this. You'll see it better when the shift knob is in, but yeah, parallel with this and with the steering wheel. Matter of fact, let me get the steering wheel. All right, so it's like that. We got the steering wheel in here. I'm just gonna I'm just mess with a bunch of stuff down here. But yeah, so you can see from the steering wheel to the to the e-brake to the you know shifter. So this is perfect. Anything I'll probably make it go back a little bit further. You guys see I'm adjusting it, but perfect. It's, you know, from here, 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 here. You can see the little tip. I can see it's a little lighter. So that's probably gonna be the most weird spot. I'm just gonna rest my thumb on there. But uh yeah, this is amazing. Yeah, it just springs back and forth. Everything's locked in properly, and nothing's shaking loose. Well, we gotta see when we actually go on track. But I'm going to mark this as a success. Because it's just the fact that I just made my own hydro. You know, honestly, I think it looks amazing. Uh, leave a message down in the comment section what you think about this. But I think it's cool. It's a little bit wider than the normal one, but it's fine. You know, if I was ever need to like quickly pull it, I can just go like that or like that, you know what I mean? I doubt you ever grab it from lower, but I like the style of it. Eventually we'll make this style for the rear wing for this car. But um yeah. So forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Never forget, never stop modifying.